hi guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl k-doll if you're new to my channel thanks for tuning in and if you're a returning subscriber obviously welcome back to another video so today we have another weekly vlog you guys seem to enjoy this so i was like why not do another one so this time around i just happened to be traveling again and i was doing a lot of traveling this week so i thought why not just vlog it and have you guys follow me so we're gonna go from london to atlanta and then from atlanta to la for the grammy weekend and then from la back home If you watched my last vlog you would see that it ended with me catching a flight and that was this flight from London to Atlanta so I flew from London to Atlanta it was a pretty smooth flight As usual I don't really eat on the flights I probably have like ice cream or I'll have a bread bun and then just have tea so I mainly drink tea liquids during my flight and that's just what keeps me going and I watch a sitcom So by the time I got to Atlanta it was quite late and I was so tired my camera battery was dead and honestly I just didn't have it in me to start charging anything to start vlogging at that time and then the next morning that's when you guys can just see me talking to you guys a bit. I've probably slept like past once I've only had like four hours of sleep I'm actually so exhausted um, but I haven't eaten as well I didn't eat on the flight when I arrived I didn't have anything I literally went to bed I had like tea and then I went to bed, so yeah, I need to eat something. So I was like, you know what? I'll wake up early. I'll have a, I'll have a quick nap, and then get breakfast, and then have a proper, like, have proper rest after that. Um, I'm currently in Atlanta. I'm in America for a week. No, I'm in America for ten days. Today's the 31st of January. Today is even what? Today's the first of February. So happy new month. Um, yesterday was the 31st. And I'm here till the 10th, so I'm here for about 10 days. Um, I might be going to LA. I don't know. We'll see, because it's Grammy weekend as well. Um, Grammys are on the 4th, I think. So, um, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be interesting. I do want to explore more of America this year. Okay, so last year I came to Atlanta a couple times. Before then, the last time I came to America was when I was young. So, And I was not in the mood to be doing no exploring of anywhere last year. I had a lot going on. But this year I do want to like, explore places. I want to check out other cities. I want to go to New York. I want to go to Miami. Because I feel like they all have different vibes and... I mean, I want to go to New York. <laughs> it gives me a girl, Blair, Waldorf. I have limited friends in Atlanta. Um, but I do want to like go out more and explore the city. So like what I would do back home in the UK or in Lagos, like when I go for brunch and stuff by myself. This time I'm around just like try out restaurants. I've gone out for dinner and stuff, but like daytime brunch and activities, I haven't done much of that. So I do want to do you guys are going to follow me as I shuffle around. I'm going to be vlogging this week. Grammy week. Let's see what's up. I'm going to go get my food now. Grab something to eat. I might go out to do a few things today. I'll probably go Target. I'll just get like water and juice and stuff to keep in my room. Because last night I was so like I thought they might have stuff in the fridge and then you just pay but they didn't. So I'm just going to get some snacks today. And then um, go over and say hi to Chioma and the babies y'all are gonna laugh but I don't be playing like <clears throat> this little lock here is not enough they have this little stopper thing but this is me I put a hanger because I've heard too many crazy things about America so <laughs> the ghetto but it makes me feel more secure Thank you. 
So I got hungry and I was looking for somewhere close by to my hotel to eat and I found this Italian restaurant online. I'm at this restaurant called, I think it's called Maggiano. I was literally just looking for somewhere to eat and I found it. It's a really nice Italian restaurant and I had a good rating so I'm here on a solo day. Um, they offered me some zucchini which honestly i was like okay let me not be rude let me just be polite and try it because it was like coated in bread or something so i was gonna just try that part but i knew i was gonna like it because i did like vegetables so that's just not for me they got me some so i'm gonna show you guys my food garlic bread so this is the sauce <laughs> I've just made a mess guys, I don't know, it's not gonna work. At this point I was being clumsy as usual. Well I feel so silly, I can't do for doing this just now. Mm -hmm. Food was good, the service was nice, I really really enjoyed my food. The tomato sauce with that garlic bread was so good. So I went super casual and then I get there and I see it's a whole proper dining restaurant but it was really good, the service was nice, the food was tasty. I was so stuffed and I hadn't even eaten a bit of my pasta yet. So I had a tiny bit of that but I was so full. But guys this food went down, you can see me stuffed. I didn't expect the portions to be this big, they were honestly huge portions. The pasta was nice and honestly for everything i say it's quite affordable like i showed you guys the bill it was only 45 dollars something and that to me was like quite cheap for the service the ambience like i thought it would be more expensive this is like a nando's meal and the ambience gives more like nice dining restaurant so yeah i think that's a good shot and i definitely will be going there again next time hey guys good morning so this is the next day and i'm just getting ready My trousers were giving me a big, big problem because can you see that space? It's so big. I wasn't sure my right fashion oversize and then I just ordered and it was too big. I thought I had my belt packed, but for some reason it wasn't in my suitcase. So that was just a bit of a struggle. But yeah, this is just me getting ready to start my day. Hi guys, good morning. Hold on, how do I turn off this fan? the light goes off as well anyways hi guys good morning so today is february today's the second friday it's 11 14 so i'm just getting ready now to check out of my hotel um because i only did here for two days so i'm moving to my other hotel where i would be at till um till i leave basically I need to even wash this wig, Lord knows, but I think when I get to my um, when I get to my hotel, I will wash this hair because it needs a good wash. But yeah, just said, let me check in with you guys. Yesterday, I ended up. Um, what did I do yesterday? So yesterday, I ended up going to this Italian restaurant. I really like pasta and stuff like that. So I was just looking for somewhere to get food close by because I didn't want to go um, anywhere far and there's a mall really close to my what's it called close to my hotel so i was just i was like oh like good restaurants around and i found this place and it's actually a really nice restaurant and i really enjoy the food um which you guys did see i did vlog so yeah yesterday was nice i went for a solo day um in the afternoon i just wanted lunch but it was a nice restaurant and it ended up being it was basically a solo day so yeah i had some good good food after lunch, I came back to my hotel, chilled a bit, and then I went over to Tumas and came back. And that's basically was my day yesterday. For today is just, I just need to move, go to the mall, get a few things. I need some stuff, and then I might even just go to Target or something. But no, I need to go to the mall, and I need to go to Target. I need to get a few things. So today's pretty chill, and then the trousers are nice, but fun. They are so big. I wasn't sure my size and fashion see. I need to put it in. Because I wasn't sure my size and fashion over jeans. Who do I think I am? Like, even when I push my belly in, if I push my belly out, ugh, see, they're so, and it's stretchy as well. But they're nice jeans, but obviously I've got the wrong size, so. I'm gonna get these tailored in. I feel like, 
I don't know. I feel like I expected them to last longer. I need an infill because these are already going very light. So anyways guys, I finally got to my other hotel. Like I told you guys, I was moving and this is where I would be till I leave Atlanta. So I was gonna go to LA from here and then when I get back from LA, come back to this hotel and then leave from here back to London. So yeah, this was a very nice, cozy spot. It had two beds, even though it was just me. For some reason, I couldn't get a room that had one really big bed. So I just took that. I didn't mind anyways. And then I was just very happy because if you know me, I love my coffee. So the fact that they had a coffee stand there was amazing. So guys, about two days later, I caught my flight to LA. The flight to LA was actually pretty good. The flight wasn't full. I tried to sleep for most of it. And then anyways, this is me just trying to get my bags and then headed to our hotel. I was surprised to see people out at Chick-fil-A. There was such a long queue and this was at like midnight. But anyways, we're out of the hotel now, got to reception, met up with the guys, just chilled a bit. I was so tired. I had one drink and I couldn't even finish my drink. And then I just came straight to my room. The hotel was really, really nice. Um, It was so busy though, because of the Grammy weekend, a lot of people were but there, a good shower, and then I just went straight to bed. Hey guys, good morning. So it's like 6.45. I went to bed like quarter to two, so I've had like five hours of sleep. I'm so tired. However, um, I'm gonna go get breakfast now, because yesterday I barely ate from traveling to get to the hotel. We went to, we chilled at the like bar, and then ordered like food, but then only steak came with no sides. And it was just dry. It wasn't from the hotel though, but yeah. So I didn't really eat anything. Um, so I'm gonna go have breakfast now. And then I'm gonna shower. It's, oops, wait, what's the time? Can y'all see? 6.47, so I wanna shower early because um, Chioma's start time is, I think, needs to be ready by 12. So I'm gonna shower before 10 so I can make sure she's up and ready before the glam team comes for her. And then I'm gonna do my makeup later cause like I'm doing my own hair and makeup. Nothing too, nothing too much. An hour is good enough for me to like do my makeup properly. So yeah, I'm looking forward to today. I'm excited, it's an experience. So you guys are basically following me around for the Grammy weekend. This is basically my Grammy weekend vlog. We're in LA, baby. Um, currently in Beverly Hills. And yeah. Yeah, guys, I just wanted to check in. I'm going for breakfast now. And just like, it's going to be a fast paced vlog. I don't know if I'm going to do a lot of like sitting down talking to you guys. So I feel like this will most likely be a voiceover more time. At least for like today. Because today's going to be busy. This is really cute. It's like a little cabin. Like they have dividers. So they like draw the curtain so you have the privacy to eat. But it's only me here. It's only me. It's like quarter to seven. But I need to eat because I've not eaten properly yesterday. I didn't really eat. Flying. Time difference. I don't know what clock my body's running on right now. Because I did London to Atlanta, then started settling into the Atlanta time difference, and then I've come to LA, which is like a, a what? Um, let me check. I checked it yesterday. Um, so yeah, it's a whole, it's a three-hour difference. I'm just tired at this point. I don't know what what clock I'm running on. I've been cramping so bad. It's that time again and I've just, yesterday I was cramping so bad so you can imagine me cramping and hungry and just tired. I was just like, you know what, let me just sleep. I've gotten a few, that, I don't know, lately I've been sleeping for a few hours, like just being busy and stuff but then I feel well rested, like I've only had like four, I say give it four, four to five hours of sleep, not even five complete hours. But I don't feel as like tired, obviously my body will be tired but I don't feel it if that makes any sense. But I just knew I needed to eat something first. So I've ordered the American breakfast option. It's so weird, like they don't have baked beans anywhere. It's just jarring me because my breakfast is not complete. English breakfast is not complete without baked beans. How? 
my hotel in Atlanta was the same thing. No big beans. Why? Like, me, my ideal breakfast is well fried eggs, brown eggs with white bread toast, baked beans, chicken or turkey sausage, and because no pork, no pork over here. And yeah, I'm good to go with my tea because I'm not big on mushrooms, tomatoes, all those veggies things. And I don't eat bacon. And I also don't like, what's it called? Um, bacon in general, turkey bacon, regular bacon. I've never really liked bacon. I just find it to be extra salty and just not my thing. But the fact that they have bacon, they have this, they, why would you have baked beans? Like at the end of the day, you have customers who come from all over the world. I've never seen places that they don't have big beans, it's just basic, it's baked beans. Is it essential? You should know. I can't believe I'm meant to know the baked beans. In my head, I've already eaten like my hot baked beans with my toast, and I like to put like fresh butter on the baked beans when it's hot so it melts and it has like a little salty, nice tip. <sighs> Guys, I've already eaten it in my head. Mentally, I've eaten it. So, guys, my breakfast is here. The pancakes went down. I'm gonna finish my tea. I'm having some juice now. I had a bit. Of, I bit the sausage and I didn't like it. It just so. Ugh, I feel like I'm eating raw chicken. So no. Um, I had a slice of bread. I don't really like crust. The egg. I don't know. I had a tiny bit. But yeah. This slap though. I'm gonna try to finish my fruit bowl. And yeah. Wrap it up. This plate basically didn't get touched. I didn't know it came with potatoes. Um, the sausage just was a sausage in. I don't know. Mm -mm. Just tasted weird. Like I literally couldn't swallow it. I had to be out. I love my fruits, I love my berries, so that fruit bowl definitely went down. You can see me munching away, like that was just a bowl of happiness right there. Everything was just sweet and juicy and had a shower, got ready, went to Chioma's room to meet her um because her glam team has started. And then I started getting ready, everyone was there, just basically that was the room where we were the Marshall Grammys from. Everyone was just chilling, eating. Ready was there, Nikkei was there, the guys came as well, we were all just chilling here. Basically like getting ready because we're going to have a celebratory dinner for David for his nominations. Yeah, so we're all just together basically doing our own stuff. This is me just getting ready, doing my hair and all of that. For all of you that like to be complaining that my vlogs be moving, they be shaking. Bye, if you don't want to watch it, because if my hands are hurting and if like there's a lot going on, I'm so sorry if it's shaking, it's shaking a bit, but a lot of you guys try to come for me in my London vlog. I feel like a lot of the people that came for me, to be honest, are people that are not actually subscribed to me. Like you don't be watching me. You just came to watch that one vlog and then you had so much to say. And I was just like, okay, bye. I don't really care because if it's too shaky, leave the vlog. Some people talk about oh you need to shoot it professionally i'm like excuse me i do this just for fun and just like enjoy myself just something i do as a creative way to express myself no one's gonna come to me telling me oh do this oh do that i was like half of you guys commenting aren't even subscribed to my channel so just get out so yeah <laughs> The comments are, oh, it's so shaky. I know they're gonna come to them, like, oh, your hands are shaking here. Oh, your video is too shaky. I was like, you know what? If it's too shaky, please don't watch the vlog. Exit. You actually don't have to watch. It's not by force. Anyways, guys, a little run over. So at this point, I was just doing my makeup and getting ready. We're all watching the Grammys at the same time, just chilling, just like doing their own thing. Girls getting ready as usual. Makeup, hair, all that shit takes time. Okay. 
Let's see if Travis got some last time. I don't even know where I'm going. So yeah, my makeup was finally done. So I wanted to see what it was like, what it was looking like in natural lighting. And yeah, I was just trying to fix my hair up a bit. And it was okay. My lashes were like barely there. But at this point, I was like, I'm just going to manage them until I get back. So I can see. Hi to my vlog. Killer Mike just, hi. Killer Mike just won again. Is it third? What did you get that? My heart is. Here we go. Going for dinner. Dinner time. My outfit. Everyone's downstairs. Trust that those to be running late. I need to wear earrings, but yeah. Give the vibes. Do you know? Anyway, so this was later this evening. I was just showing you guys my outfit and then we headed to dinner at this restaurant. I think it's called Katana and it was very nice. They organized a dinner for David to celebrate him for his three Grammy nominations and it was just a good time, an intimate dinner with family, friends, good vibes and yeah. We were meant to leave this day but as you guys saw from my hotel window it was raining the weather was bad there was a flood trees were falling the weather was just terrible our hotel was so packed that there was no space for like the next day or two so i moved to another hotel not too far away and we were meant to leave this day anyway so i was like okay that's calm so i'm on my way to the hotel and mind you i get a regular taxi because my uber wasn't working and i got the hotel reception to call me a taxi please tell me why my taxi kept adding up the price but he didn't know how to do it okay? him at this point before i confronted him and then he already moved funny so from the start he was like oh he's gonna 
use a shortcut off the map and i was like no use the direct route because i was looking the at route on google maps so i was like no use the actual route because it's raining so he's like oh let him use a shortcut i was like no i didn't really trust him my instincts just didn't already i've had a little scare because of the way he's acting and trying to use like routes off the map and i was like no you go the direct way go the longer way i keeps increasing my price while i'm looking at him his taxi camera was off but he didn't know i was recording as he was shot in his boot i made sure to take a picture so if you're in la guys just be very very careful if you do decide to use this taxi company the hotel called this company for me but i would never use them again just be very security cautious because as far as i'm concerned that could have been a near kidnap experience his camera was off he was trying to go off the route and he could tell that i was a holiday maker and he tried to increase the price and then be funny i had to call one of the guys to come downstairs when we got there and then they confronted him and they, he still tried to move funny with them. So just be careful guys, because my spirit from the start was not comfortable with this driver. And I always send my mom like a screenshot of my driver's DLs or share my Uber trips with her. But because this was not an Uber trip, for some reason, I just sent her a picture of the guy's details which was in the car before the trip even started just for him to move funny like this so just be careful guys because people are weird and then i just got something to eat and then we didn't end up traveling again this day we ended up leaving the next day because the weather was just too bad to fly so later that day i ended up going target to get a new suitcase because my suitcase broke which i ended up finding so a good I'm one in tj maxx like um, i just don't like gold hardware i'm more of a silver person and i'm thinking about scratch but i love that it's all nude and this is only 89.99 just look how pretty that is and then but this one i'm gonna go for all black because it's just sleek and better this is an it suitcase and it's only 79.99 and then my third option but i don't want this i bought this one but it's just this is not my color it's lovely i like the size but it's just too bright but for 90 dollars bro it's actually pretty and then there's this this is just like durable and 79 but like it's a bit boring i want black but at least this is nicer this is cute i really don't like the gold hardware it's giving me i don't know mm -mm. It should have been all nude like why so i think this is the winner it should have been like this basically silver hardware this i don't like this though <laughs> i'm being so picky. so yeah well i think this is the winner sleek and I always like my four wheels, like goes each direction. So yeah, this is the winner, guys. I mean, for eighty dollars, I bagged a very good steal. This scratch, I I don't know. I think it's gonna get ruined, but it was either this or this. But I don't want this. I ended up having a house breakout i do not know till this day what made it happen but i had rashes of bumps everywhere guys everywhere it was so bad i ended up having to get a new pair of trousers thankfully one of the guys had a pair of trousers on them which were too small so i took that and ended up going to look for a new jacket in zara because i just needed to change my whole outfit because i didn't know what had caused it but i was scratching and having a very bad breakout so in la david had like a set for something so we went there chilled a bit and then from there i went to go get a jacket to wear so i had to go look for a new jacket so i could quickly ran to Zara while everyone was on set and David was shooting something so I got a jacket from a more close by and oh, headed home like and yeah this is where this vlog ends I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video bye